In this video, I just wanted to showcase a free software that you can use to help visualize the inferior alveolar nerve when doing wisdom tooth surgery. For PAN, this gives us a, a, some information. Uh, for this patient, a cone beam was taken so that we can verify where the nerve was relative to the roots of this tooth. This is the cone beam that we have, and the software that I'm using is Blue Sky Plan. Blue Sky Bio, unfortunately, no longer supports Max. However, you can still uh, use the outdated software to visualize a nerve and this is free software to use. You would still have to pay if you're exporting surgical guides and using the other functions, but for the purposes of visualizing you know, wisdom teeth, this is a great software to use both on a Mac as well as a Windows PC. Here is the lower cone beam that we have. The curve of here is drawn so we get a good visual of the mandible here. Here is where we wanna add the nerve and you, there's a couple options. You can add nerve, detect nerve, and edit the nerves. In the Windows version, there is automatic detection of the nerve. However, for the Mac version, you will have to uh, resort to figuring out where exactly the nerve is. So, and to help visualize where our lines are. So I want to be over on this side here. You can see the mental foramen on this side of the, uh, in this perspective here. So I'll do detect nerve and I will click right on the foramen here. And if everything goes according to plan, and I can zoom or blow this up and scroll. So I just wanna see, and you can also change the brightness and contrast as well. So let's brighten, lighten this up so it's a bit easier to see and contrast, let's see here. So I'm using the mouse wheel to kind of scroll through and make sure the nerve is where it's supposed to be. So this unfortunately didn't work. As you can see, the nerve, the what they highlight is here. However, you can, it's pretty obvious, the cortical plate surrounding the inferior alveolar nerve is more coronal here. So unfortunately this method didn't work, which gives us the false information. So that's why you need to verify by going through each slice and checking to see where the nerve is. So what we'll do is go back to the nerve list and we'll delete this nerve and then we'll then scroll back to the mental frame in here and then I will add a nerve, and here is where you can manually add it. So you, that's the mental foramen, and, and I believe that's where the nerve is. So I, this is a pretty obvious in terms of where I believe the nerve is. So I just keep clicking in the center of the area, and that will trace out the nerve. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to make out, so you use your best judgment here. And looking here. And I would say that's still, you know, the outline of the nerve there. So I'm confident with that and continuing on. And you can see the outline right around here. I'd say there as well. Here. Here and goes around there. Okay, so a good way to help verify this is just in the pan section here, there's a couple, uh, this button here either takes one slice from this jaw here, and you can see, so, you can even change the the lines of here. Well, that won't bring it here, but let's bring this here so things line up with the apical portion of the jaw a bit better. If you can, you know, see what I'm doing here. But when I'm using the mouse wheel here, I'm seeing if the nerve, and I can visualize here. You can see the outline of the cortical plate on the coronal and apical aspect here. And if I mouse wheel up and down, I see the outline here. So then I know when I 
visualize the nerve or show the visibility and the yellow dots coincide with the outline there I know I can confirm that the nerve is uh, you know I, I can feel confident that that's where the nerve is so what a lot of people uh, normally do with a lot of the cone beam software is uh, exactly this just go through the slices and just visualize in terms of okay this is where you know the nerve is and it helps having a faster computer because this is resource heavy just scroll through and then you can get a better sense in terms of where the nerve is relative to the roots of that wisdom tooth what i wanted to show in this video is they have this feature here so this is is the the visualization of the bone of the the dicom or the cone beam that we have this isn't a, an intro scan or anything this is just what we have and the slider down here changes the density so as you can see you know when I go like this it changes the density and you can see even you know when you get to a certain level you know you can make the outline of the, the lower left wisdom tooth here you know, this just provides a different visualization of the roots compared to this conventional view that, you know, a lot of softwares do use. And I, I thought I would share in terms of visualizing this way so you can get like a more, uh, you know, a different view of how that nerve looks compared to the wisdom tooth. If you wanted to get a view from buccal aspect, what you can simply do is Go to the surfaces panel here. And if I want to get rid of this, I could just hit cut. And then what I'm doing is cutting the buckle aspect here. And then uncheck cut and then visualize here. So now I get a sideways view or, you know, a view on the side here and if you don't like seeing all that as well you can also hit isolate and then just click on bone and gets rid of all the ex excess data and here you can see okay this is you know where the nerve lies that's where the wisdom tooth is and yeah I thought this uh, might be useful for those who perform a lot of surgeries near the nerve and they want to get a better visualization. This is another option to use. I thought I'd quickly share that just to see if that helps with uh, visualizing. Well, and if you found that useful, thanks for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe, or if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.